Hey there, Saints. Today, we got a, a good word. This is in three parts, so I'm going to break this up in a, a three-part, you know, episode so we can pack it in and get the fullness of this. So let's pray in. Dear Father God, we thank you, Father, on this afternoon. We thank you that your light is still upon us. We thank you that your protection is still upon us. We thank you that your word is here still and that we have time to just submerge ourselves in it, Father, and to permeate it. Let it just rule over our life and our body and our soul. We thank you this afternoon in Jesus' wonderful name. So we got a word and we're going to speak in three parts. I'm going to talk about ministers and pastors and then we're going to talk about the elders and how important that is. Now, some of us who don't know, and some of us who do know, Aaron had four sons, Nadab, Abihu, Eliezer, and Ithamar. Now, Nadab and Abihu, they were in the temple and they were offering up a worldly sacrifice to a, a consuming God. Now, although that they were secular and doing secular things, this is like what the church is doing today. You're offering yourself any old kind of way unto a holy, consuming God. Now, they had got consumed because of this, and they perished. So it's important for us to be real careful that we allow who God has established, who God has ordained to go forth to guide us in this process. Now, as we see Eliezer and Ithamar take their place after they died, then you see the anointings. You see the anointings of God poured over them. And this is at Leviticus 10, 1 through 7, in case you want to read on it. So that way you can, you know, get yourself acclimated with the word. Now, as Eliezer and Ithamar, as the anointings was poured on them, now they're able to perform, you know, the Lord's task. So that's just touching on, you know, on the ministers, you know, and doing things inside the church building. You want to definitely, you know, be anointed from the Holy Ghost power. You definitely want to have the wisdom of God. You definitely want to be being used. So now let's look at pastors. Now, as we see, you know, Aaron was at a point to where he had did some things, you know, towards the Lord and his time was near. So the Lord told Moses to go take Eliezer and take them up on the mountain and strip Aaron of his garments and put him on Eliezer. Now, this was the transformation in Eliezer's ministry to going from, you know, being a minister in the church to now ministering as a priest slash pastor. Now, the Lord will grow you when it's time for you to be a pastor. The Lord will grow you when it's time for you to take position in the house of God. So this, we can find this in Numbers 20, 25 through 26, and chapter 27, 18 through 19. And we're able to see, you know, what God is doing and how he did it with Eliezer and how the transformation of him ministering at, you know, a lower level to, you know, being called by God to a higher level to perform ministry work because all of it is ministry work. All of it is ministry work. So now let's look at the elders. Now this is essential and important now at Exodus 24, one through two, and I'm gonna read that. And he said unto Moses, come up unto the Lord thou and Aaron and Nadab and Abihu and the 70 elders of Israel and Moses shall come near the Lord, but they shall not come near. Neither shall the people go up with them. Now, let's break this down. What this is saying? Now, Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu and the 70 elders and Moses can come up the mountain, but Moses can come a little closer to God's presence. And it also mentioned about the congregation not being able to get on the mountain. So we have to look and see how important the elders was and the power on Mount Sinai that it was that if animals or if that the congregation touched the base of the mountain, that they would die. So this is the importance of the elders and why we need elders today in these churches for the young men and for the young women. We need the mothers who have the power, you know, who have the anointings, who have the word, you know, that they can teach these kids. They can teach these young men and young ladies on the way of how to grow in the Lord. So that's in Exodus 24, 1 through 2. So now I want to turn my attention to Numbers 11, 16 through 17. And I'm, let's read the effectiveness and how powerful the elders are. And the Lord said unto Moses, Gather unto me 70 men of the elders of Israel, whom thou knowest to be elders of the people and officers of them, and bring them unto the tabernacle of the congregation, that they may stand there with them. And I will come down and talk with thee there, and I will talk 
take of the spirit which is upon thee, and I will put it upon them, and they shall bear the burden of the people with thee, that thou bear it not alone thyself. So as we see, it's crucial that the elders, you know, be amongst the young men in the congregation because, you know, it's, it's very important, very important. As we see from the study that, you know, the Lord met Moses at a certain place and, you know, he took up Moses' spirit and the burden and just, you know, put it upon the elders so they can share the load, so they can share, you know, some of the wisdom to be able to answer questions, to be able to pour in to a big congregation. You know, something that one person can't do, and it's, it's overbearing. So the Lord, you know, made his load light, you know what I mean? And I, and I, and I, I see, and you can see in the churches today why, you know, so much is going on because it's just not like the old church, you know, where they had, you know, men and elders and, you know, those elders was able to continue to pour into the young men and continue to do ministry work and continue to be there to answer, continue to be there to help and continue to be, you know, just to be that, that, um, another source that, you know, us coming up in the body of Christ that we need. And that's at Numbers 11, 16 through 17. So I thank you, Satan, for the word today. And we'll shortly, I know I have another one that I'll do. There's another part to this. So let's stay tuned. And thank you and God bless you in Jesus' mighty name.